Good morning, everybody, and welcome to today's severe weather update. Today, we have a slight risk of severe weather extending from the Florida Panhandle all the way through the Ohio Valley in the yellow, a marginal risk in the dark green as well. We also have a slight risk of severe weather in parts of Oregon, Washington State, and Idaho today, as well as a marginal risk surrounding that, which is interesting. Uh, taking a look at today's tornado threat, there's a 5% chance of tornadoes within 25 miles of a given location across the uh, central to eastern Gulf Coast, uh, across the Florida Panhandle, uh, southwest Alabama, and the southeastern corner of Mississippi in the Brown region, and a 2% chance of tornadoes in the green area. Looking at the damaging winds, there's a 15% chance of damaging winds of 58 miles per hour or stronger within 25 miles of a given location in the yellow areas today, 5% chance in the brown areas. And looking at the hail, there's a 15% a, a chance of quarter size hail uh, within 25 miles of a location across portions of Washington State, Oregon, and Idaho in the small yellow area and 5% chances in the brown areas today. Now, taking a look at current radar, we have a tornado watch in effect across portions of the Florida Panhandle, southwest Alabama, and far southeastern Mississippi until 2 p.m. Central Daylight Time. So be on the, be on the lookout for some tornadoes over the next few hours if you live in this area. We also have a bunch of heavy rain moving on shore from the Gulf. Now timing out the event, uh, starting around right now, which is around 9 o'clock, the storms are going to continue to move northward through about the noon hour, uh, spreading a whole lot of heavy rain into western Florida, Alabama, and parts of Georgia. And going into the afternoon through about 4 or 5 o'clock, storms are going to continue to move slowly eastward with possibly some more storms developing behind the main round across central portions of Alabama. May, these could produce some uh, isolated tornadoes and damaging winds as well. And going into the evening between 6 and 9 p.m., storms are going to move towards Georgia and the Carolinas, and by about uh, midnight, most of the storms should dissipate, but we're still going to be seeing scattered showers and thunderstorms uh, from Florida through Georgia and the Carolinas. And this leads into our flash flooding threat. Because the storms are going to be moving so slowly, uh, we can expect areas widespread of 1 to two inches across southern Alabama, Georgia, as well as portions of the Carolinas and eastern Tennessee. But right along the Florida Panhandle, uh, we can expect rainfall tolls of three to five inches with isolated tolls up to six to eight inches. So flooding is going to be a particularly concern in the Florida Panhandle today, I do believe. And looking at the Weather Prediction Center's excessive rainfall outlook for flooding rain, they agree with that, putting a moderate risk of excessive flooding rainfall across much of the Florida, western Florida panhandle, southern Alabama, and the southeastern corner of Mississippi, where the heaviest rain is expected to fall today. There's a slight risk in the yellow and a marginal risk in the dark green for excessive flooding rainfall today. So make sure you are prepared for severe weather and flooding if you live in the shaded areas today. Uh, have a wonderful day, my friends, and stay safe.